Hello and welcome along to Adobe After Effects with your host Robert Smith. In this video we're going to do a simple camera move to create what's called a parallax effect, an effect that's used uh, in all sorts of things these days, advertising, TV, on the web, whatever. So let's get stuck in. The first thing I'm going to do is import some files. Before I do that let's go to Photoshop and have a look at these files. So I'll just command tab to Photoshop. I've got a fairly big background. We're going to be working in a 1280 by 720 area, but this is a lot bigger than that. And I've got a butcher bird and a kookaburra and a pigeon. Now you notice they've all been very badly deep etched, but for the sake of this exercise they'll do. So that's what they look like, and I saved them as PNG files with transparency. Like that, I need to keep the file size down. I could um, save them as .psd if I wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to command tab back to After Effects. I go file import like this import file now I want the pigeon the kookaburra butcher and the trees I'll click on open like this now there are no issues on the way in because they're not um, layered files so it's all good I'm going to grab actually before I do that I'll go to my new composition like this or Apple N and I'm going to make a composition that's 1280 by 720 25 frames per second and 10 seconds long. Okay, so there's my um, stage. Now I'm going to grab the pigeon, the kookaburra and the butcher bird and drag them onto my stage like that. And also now grab the trees and do the same thing. I'm going to grab that and drag that as a background. Now we're going to be working in a 3D world, so to make these files 3D I go over here to this little cube lane I like to call it, just drag down like that and now not much has happened really, but the, now I have 3D capability. In fact let's just show the difference. For example if I grab this file and twirl it down like that, you'll notice that I've got five properties I can play around with, but when I convert them to 3D layers like that, you'll notice now I've got a few more options, X rotation, etc. That's just a by the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is set this scene up. Now, to do that, I'm going to use a camera. So I'm going to control new like this. I'm going to go to camera. I could, of course, always go up here and go to layer new camera. Now, this is probably the most complicated of all After Effects um, dialogues boxes. So we'll just leave it at one node camera. Make sure you're using a one node camera and a 50 millimeter preset. That'll get you out of trouble on most occasions. So if I click OK like that, I now have a camera. OK, and over here where it says Active Camera, I need to change that to Camera 1. Now nothing's changed. That Camera 1 and Active Camera are the same. But now we can actually animate Camera 1. That's the whole deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that camera. I'm going to get a Transform, twirl that down. And I'm going to drag that out to about minus... Yeah, about minus, yeah, about 1900 will do, approximately like that. In fact, I might even just drag about like that, that's fine. Very nice indeed, about 2000 is good. That's along the Z plane, this third number here. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to grab the trees layer, and I want to put it out into space too, so I'm going to click on Transform. But before I do that, so I can see what's going on, it's a bit difficult to see when you're looking at this uh, active or camera one view. So I'm going to go to two views, like this, two views horizontal. Uh, now I can see all my files. This is the top view on the left hand side, the bird's eye view, pardon the pun. And on the right hand side we're seeing what the camera sees. Okay, so I'm going to grab the trees on its position. I'm going to start to drag it out into space. Now I reckon... Um, if I hold the shift key down it'll drag a lot quicker like that I'll just drag it till it just about fits like that very nice indeed you can see on the right hand side what's happening there and what I'm going to do is do the same things with the birds so I'll grab the um, butcher bird like this now layer order doesn't matter once you become they become 3D layers you can have them in any order they don't sit on top of each other so the butcher bird, I want to transform. In fact, I'm going to do the three of them at once. So I'll select the pigeon, hold the shift key down, select the butcher layer, and press the uh, letter P for position, like that. And I know these numbers, I've worked them out before. I'm going to put the kookaburra at about 2200, like that. I'm going to put the butcher bird at about 
700 like that and the pigeon I'm going to put about 1400 like this okay now there's a bit of a problem because they've all gone behind the background because in 3d space the trees and now their position is 1300 and the other um, images have gone behind it this happens all the time I know I want that to be 3000 so I'm going to type in 3000 there like that now I need to scale up my background because it's not big enough so I'm going to grab the scale and just drag it and now it's a long way into the distance if we have a look at it here there it is there there's our background and there's our three birds okay with lots of parallax happening there now what I need to do I need to put those birds in position again so I've got the pigeon I'm going to grab the um, butcher bird the first one just drag it to the right a little bit there like that and I'm going to grab the kookaburra and actually I'll drag the pigeon and drag it to the left just a little bit like this now this is all you have to play around with this to get the right numbers to about there like that and I might drag the butcher bird to the right just a little bit like that very nice indeed okay it's ready to be animated what we've done we've set up our scene we've got a background and three images and you'll notice on the left hand side here that this is our background they're the three birds and here's our camera so let's get to animating so I'll just shut those three or those by pressing P like that okay I'm gonna open up the camera or twirl down the camera like that and I'm just going to use the position so I'll put a keyframe there for position like that and I'm going to go to about three seconds along the timeline I'm going to drag this like this so the birds come towards me as you can see now we're starting to see the parallax effect the closer birds like the butcher bird for example is um, <coughs> coming at you a lot quicker now if I just keep dragging that like this to there now I'm not really happy with that the position of things we're not really seeing the kookaburra so I'm going to drag those numbers back and this is all hit and miss so what I'll do is I'll just drag those back like that I'll shut that open up my kookaburra and transform them I just might move him using the position to the right a bit like that and I might scale these birds down just a little bit too they're a little bit too big in the scene so I'm going to select the three birds like that with the shift key held down and press the letter S for scale I'm going to scale them down oh, that's better so they're like that and as they come towards us they'll get bigger which is exactly what we want okay so let's have a look at that great okay now the camera's going to have to zoom in a little bit more to see this whole scene so to do that I'll go to my camera and I'll start to zoom in if I hold the shift key down while I'm dragging this number it'll happen a lot quicker ah, that's exactly what we want now the problem is we weren't at the right keyframe we should have been at this keyframe here to do that so to get there I'm going to press the letter K that's the shortcut to go between keyframes and now I'm going to grab that number and hold the shift key down and drag it towards me till the kookaburra comes into view like that now let's have a look at that I've got my preview over here do a RAM preview and let's see what happens ah now nothing's happened okay let's see why that is so if we go to this position here press letter K and we're at 1000 if we go here we're at 1002 that's interesting why that's not doing that ah it is doing it now great okay at this point here we need to go a little bit further back so I'm gonna grab this camera and drag it to a minus position now this happens all the time um, you get a little bit confused and uh, just a matter of sitting down and playing with these numbers and getting used to the fact that um, what's moving now is the camera nothing else is moving you can see that on the left hand side as we drag along now you can see the cameras moving through the images just like that okay and that's the parallax look we're looking for I'm just gonna play that I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go back to one view so I can see what's going on go over here and that's the look we want you want the three birds coming at us at different speeds 
and the background as well. Okay, that's a very basic camera move, and let's summarize what we did. We just simply had four files. We put them out into Z space at different places, and then we moved the camera through them, simply like that. And it's just a matter of trial and error to get to the right size and things like that, and it will take a while. But after a while, you get used to it. It's so much fun. Okay, thanks for watching.